Hi there. All right. Let's just open up Unity while I talk about. Uh, let's see. Okay. Uh, let's do a new. Tutorial. Tutorial! Um, I'm going to select a 2D. By the way, this is this is, we're doing. Um, we're going to learn how to trigger an animation. Uh, I work with frame animations, so um, uh, 2D is fun for me. You can have two-dimensional planes working in a three-dimensional space if you like, and a lot of this information is all going to apply to 2D anyway. We got construction outside. This is my first tutorial. This is going to be the worst. I mean, this is really just a recipe for just. It's going to be terrible, and. Um, I'm very nervous, and uh, okay, got our inspector and doing things. Let's just check and see if it's actually, yeah, look at that. Okay, all right. Um, all right, so the first thing you're gonna wanna, wanna do is you're gonna want to uh, bring in your assets. Right click on the hierarchy, and then, no, no, no. Go to your assets and then uh, uh, import package, custom package. If you've gone to the GitHub, this is already there. Blah blah blah. Uh, you're gonna oh, want to get the uh, video uh, Unity package. You open it. It decompresses it. It gives you all these options. You just say, "Give it to me. Give it all to me." <sighs> kind of going for more energy this take because I'm uh, just losing my mind. I am, listen to that. I love, I love, I love this construction stuff. It's really adding to the ambiance. Um, I think they're sanding uh, everything on the planet. Uh, it should be all smoothed down by the time this tutorial comes out and there should be on a just a featureless globe <sighs> Okay uh, So we it imports our assets we got all these assets um, But I'm gonna want to bring in my own 2d assets. It's an eight frame animation I'm calling it tutorial asset it's for a project that I'm working on something else, but and now I scroll down to it. I got this here. Um, let's open it up, and then let's just select all eight frames. Shift da da. da. Um, if you're working in a 3D mode, this doesn't happen automatically over here. It, you're going to have to manually select. 2D and UI sprite, uh, or else you're not gonna be able to drag it in. You're gonna be like, why? Why? That's why. Uh, it does it automatically in 2D mode. Um, and then I'm just gonna pull them all and drag them in. Um, and then it's gonna offer to create an animation for you. I'm sure there's another way to do this, but this is the only way I ever figured it out. Uh, Tut anim. Uh, and then, so now it's created your animator, and then it's created your controller for your animator. This is the controller, that's the animator. Um, and, uh, let's, let's resize it. Let's, let's, let's turn the scale up, let's make it bigger. It's gonna be pretty pixelated, but that's okay. Um, and then let's just look at it in the game. Oh God, it's beautiful. And, uh, and let's play it. And look at that. It just goes with nothing helping it go. It just goes. Um, so now let's bring in our MIDI source. Uh, and that is gonna be, you want to, um, make it connect to your OPZ. I've got my OPZ plugged in. It's turned on. 
uh, let's hit auto connect and um, and then let's add our clack patch uh, and then we're gonna open the patcher and then I'm gonna press a button and it's gonna shift over to the other thing my other monitor we're gonna have more space to work uh, and then so right click create input MIDI note input uh, now let's look at the uh, note input in the inspector uh, channel let's do channel one the kick uh, I'm not gonna mess with the note filter um, it filters notes uh, 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 let's 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 turn off the damp spring and just make it direct so that way uh, things are less complicated um, it just basically ramps up the value uh, which is here on value one um, which is just kind of the amount of signal that it's sending to the next thing um, uh, let's see let's go back to our thingy do da wah wah and then let's create a transitional whatnot which is gonna be for our purposes float animation uh, now let's take our note on connect that to play so when the note comes on it plays and let's look at that in the inspector um, uh, the speed is gonna be one it's gonna play on the start I don't understand the play on start uh, it, I just leave it on because it, it sometimes doesn't work when I don't play on start um, and now let's go back to our thingy and let's create an output so that way it knows where to go without in the what uh, component animator out and let's take our float and collect connect it to normalized time um, and now let's go to and so there's an inspector of the animator app it allows you to choose the asset uh, that you want to be animating I only have one asset right now but usually it gives you an array of options uh, now it knows what to animate who to animate how to animate and let's see if it works oh my god oh yeah look at that yeah turn it off and turn it back on again um so it's it's animating a little fast uh so we're not getting the full thing because it's the the kick is happening too often and it's not making it do what not the hey ho uh so let's head over to our float animation select float animation let's go to our inspector and then we can adjust the speed and let's make that two twice as fast um, oh yeah god that's just oh, so wonderful um okay I'm gonna stop here because I was trying to show some other stuff and I, it, I embarrassed myself. Uh, so that's gonna be it. Um, uh, uh, next time we'll be doing colors and how to make colors happen and make it pretty. Uh, uh, thanks a lot.